העיר עזה, ובעצם היום יש עזה צפון ועזה דרום. The Israeli military has divided Palestine's Gaza into two, marking a new stage in Israel's ground invasion. With a plan in place for troops to enter Gaza City, Israel's division of the occupied territory has sparked questions about the future of the besieged Palestinian enclave. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has also stated that Israel seeks to indefinitely control Gaza. Uh, I think Israel will, for uh, an indefinite period, will have the overall uh, security responsibility because we've seen what happens when we don't have it, when we don't have that security responsibility. While the outcome of the invasion is still unclear, splitting Gaza into two could mean the creation of yet another border that would be managed by Israel, which would likely prevent crossings between the two halves. Israel already manages the three occupied Palestinian territories, besieged Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem, keeping them in isolation from one another. Israel even uses a color-coded identification system issued by its military. Palestinians in the occupied West Bank and Gaza have green IDs, while Palestinians in East Jerusalem and Israel have blue IDs. That can affect everything from freedom of movement and employment opportunities to a family's ability to live together. It is illegal for a Palestinian in the occupied West Bank to travel to Gaza or East Jerusalem unless they have a special travel permit from Israel. The same is true for Palestinians in Gaza, which has been under an Israeli blockade since 2007. Israel has prevented professionals, artists, athletes, and students from pursuing opportunities within occupied Palestine and from traveling abroad, with few exceptions. For a Palestinian to leave Gaza, they have to receive a visa from the country they wish to travel to. This is challenging, as only a few countries have visa-granting offices within the besieged enclave. If they need to visit a foreign embassy in Israel or Egypt, they must first apply to leave Gaza via Israeli authorities. But they rarely receive responses, or they are granted permission after their requested travel dates have passed. While Gaza shares a border with Egypt, the border is rarely open, and Palestinians often face travel delays and administrative corruption. Even those seeking medical treatment are frequently denied exit permits, with many dying while waiting for approval. Within the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem, Palestinians must always carry their IDs for internal travel due to the hundreds of checkpoints interspersed within the territory. In addition to this, the city of Hebron has been divided into two distinct areas, H1 administered by the Palestinian Authority and H2 managed by the Israeli military. However, in practice, Israel heavily controls both in order to protect the small, illegal settler community in the city. Palestinians in occupied Hebron are banned from driving or walking on certain streets, preventing them from accessing shops and even the main entrances of their homes. Such policies have been described by numerous human rights organizations as constituting a state of apartheid. While holders of an East Jerusalem ID can move more freely, they live under constant threat of residency revocation, with Israeli courts regularly ruling in favor of illegal Jewish settlers who wish to evict Palestinians from their ancestral homes. While the future of Gaza remains uncertain, the potential expansion of direct Israeli control over even more Palestinian territory will only exacerbate the difficulties of those already living under occupation in the besieged enclave.